RGB craze doesn't seem to be letting up anytime soon. I mean, if anything, it keeps expanding, and manufacturers like NZXT seem to be riding shotgun in this bandwagon, especially when we see them launch brand new product lines like their Hue 2 lighting system. Building on the hugely successful Hue Plus, Hue 2 essentially serves the same purpose of blinging out your system, but adds support for second-gen devices and extends the invitation to the RGB party to your monitor. You hear that? You're finally invited. It's gonna be lit. Just remember, BYORGB. <laughs> Tough crowd. Speed up your rig with the Toshiba OCZ TR200 SSD. Experience ultra-fast performance packaged in a slim 2.5-inch form factor using 64-layer 3D NAND flash memory. Now available in 240, 480, and 960 gig capacities. Click on the link below for more info. Now while Hue 2 is controlled by NZXT's CAM software and functions in much the same way as the Hue Plus, there's quite a few new products and accessories here so it can get kind of tricky figuring out which devices are sold separately and how they all come together, so let's break it down. There's the Hue 2 RGB lighting kit with an MSRP of $74.99 US. This replaces the Hue Plus and like its predecessor, includes a lighting controller hub and four 300mm addressable RGB LED strips. Each strip has magnets and 3M adhesive for flexible mounting options, and the controller features four separate channels that support up to six accessories and 40 LEDs each. Since CAM can auto-detect Hue 2 accessories, you can also mix and match them on any channel to suit your needs, and while first-gen AR RGB fans and Hue Plus LED strips are supported, they do require their own channel and cannot be mixed with Hue 2 accessories, such as the kit's included LED strips. It's worth noting that these two are second-gen products and are not compatible with the original Hue Plus controller. The hub retains its two and a half inch form factor, but sports a thinner profile than the Hue Plus, making it much easier to stick behind your motherboard via an SSD tray, the included Velcro strips, or my favorite, the built-in magnets. It kind of bummed me out to see that the new Hue still gets its power through that stubborn Molex connector instead of SATA. Hardly anything I use requires Molex these days, so it sucks having to bust out an extra PSU cable rather than being able to piggyback off an existing SATA cable with a free plug. Next to the hub's power connector is a micro USB port for connecting itself to the motherboard's USB 2.0 header, which allows it to communicate with CAM. On the same side, you'll find the first two channel ports and the second two on the left. One advantage that the Hue Plus had of only having one pair of channel ports was being able to fit all of its connections on one side of the unit, which made for much cleaner cable management. Comparatively, users who plan on mounting the Hue 2 on the glamour side of their rig may have to try harder to route the cables as tidily when using all four channel ports. The Hue 2 strips are super bright and rich in color just like the first gen strips, making it really hard to tell them apart. This kit alone provides more than enough bling to an otherwise dull system, but there are still three new accessories for users who demand even more illumination for their PC. If the lighting kit's four included LED strips just aren't enough, you can pick up the Hue 2 LED strip accessory which is sold separately for an MSRP of $24.99. This simple kit includes two of the same 300mm addressable RGB LED strips and the proper cables for getting them connected. The second accessory is much more interesting, and the first of its kind for the Hue line. For $29.99, the Hue 2 cable comb accessory is a set of addressable RGB cable combs, which really shouldn't surprise us at this point. In the box, you get two 24-pin and five 8-pin combs that are all daisy-chained by a single cable, which terminates to a 4-pin 5-volt RGB plug. This connects to one of the four channels on the Hue Plus lighting hub, and is therefore controlled by cam like everything else. The combs are made of a hard, semi-opaque plastic so light can shine through them, and it's important to note that they will only fit well with 3mm cable sets, which was pretty limiting in my experience. Trying to use the combs with Cable Mods Pro Series, Up Here cables, and Thermaltake's TT Mod extension proved to be a royal struggle. Those with enough patience and finger strength might be able to brute force fatter wires into these combs, but they may end up bending their cables out of shape in the process. I was also kind of surprised by the lack of any 6-pin trainers. Maybe NZXT's logic here is that a builder who's spending $30 on cable combs probably has a top-shelf video card with higher power requirements anyway. Still, it just seems kind of odd to have no 6-pin support at all. And sure, you could use an 8-pin comb with your 6-pin cable if you're okay with your rig looking like hot garbage. I'm sad to report that the engineering sample I received had some weak connections keeping the LEDs from turning on, so I wasn't able to see them in action. We'll just have to take NZXT at their word that they do in fact light up. The third new accessory for showboating your rig in style is the Underglow Kit. Priced at $34.99 for ATX cases and 5 bucks less for smaller cases, this is an external add-on for creating an underglow effect. 
included are a pair of 300 millimeter rigid addressable RGB LED strips that mount to the underside of your chassis with the provided 3M adhesive. The strips had a hard time sticking to the bottom of my S340 Elite though, because the only area you can reasonably mount them to have a few rivets in the way that the adhesive just isn't strong enough to grip. Having magnets built into the strips could have been a huge help here. The strips are linked together by a short cable and can be plugged in either directly to the Hue 2 controller or externally to the included PCI expansion bracket. Installation is quick and easy if you have a fully smooth surface to work with, of course, and the two adhesive cable tie downs keep the wiring orderly. Like the internal strips, you get the same bright LEDs with smooth transitions and radiant color beaming down onto your desk. Now the last U2 part in this family is not an accessory, but rather a full functioning product. In fact, imagine it to be almost exactly like the Hue 2 lighting kit, but instead of serving your PC, it serves the back of your monitor. The Hue 2 Ambient RGB Lighting Kit costs the most coin of the bunch at $100 and comes in two models, one suited for panels 21 to 26 inches and another for larger displays up to 35 inches. The larger kit you see here features a familiar lighting hub with just two channels and eight LED strips, four of which span 300 millimeters while the other four run slightly shorter at 250 millimeters. Once again, users have the choice of magnetic or adhesive backing for the strips, but are limited to using the included Velcro pieces when mounting the hub behind the monitor. Now, while I was able to get everything mounted to my curved PG348Q ultra-wide display, you'll want to make sure there aren't any buttons or other obstacles behind your panel that might prevent you from running strips in the proper locations. Just a few hours after installation, the 3M adhesive on the strips was already losing its grip, so I had to secure them with painter's tape, which is kind of cringe for the price you're paying here. Also provided is an AC adapter with a quadruplet of regional plugs, cable ties and cables for connecting the strips and wiring them to the hub, and a micro USB to type A cable for connecting the hub to your PC, preferably to your rear I.O. Through cam, the ambient lighting kit can dance to all the same lighting effects as the internal Hue 2 lighting kit, with an extra trick up its sleeve. Ambient mode dynamically matches the LEDs to the colors on your screen, creating a more unique and immersive gaming experience. It's a cool little cherry on top that works very well in practice. It's also worth noting that multi-monitor users can connect additional ambient lighting kits. NDXT recommends their extended mode when using more than one display. This requires one kit per monitor, and when ambient mode is enabled, colors will only be pulled from the primary monitor. As you would expect, users can also sync up lighting effects between their PC and display to achieve luminous RGB harmony. Summing things up here, the Hue 2 could definitely have better mounting solutions in several areas. It's got its own set of quirks and oddities that you just have to deal with, and the privilege of ownership does not come cheap. But it is, by a landslide, the most advanced and customizable lighting ecosystem for your setup currently on the market, and I would recommend it to anyone looking for a serious boost in the bling department. You guys let me know what you think though, toss a like on this video if you enjoyed it. If you're new here, don't forget to subscribe and click that notification bell so you don't miss any of our upcoming videos. Time guys, thank you so much for watching, have a good one, and I'll see y'all in the next video.